Hey guys, awesome 582 here, and welcome back to Azrael Core. And today we're doing Shadow Fan Keep. I decided to skip past uh, Stinky Will and Cat. Yo, hello. Uh, I decided to skip past the Wailing Caverns because it is literally a dog shit instance. Um, and because of my UI change back to normal, as you see, the UI is not fully recovered yet. It is uh, not doing that hot. So uh, we're going to have to do some changes around here to get things back to where they were. Because um, it's not good. <laughs> oh, God. So most of my UI survived. But as you see, there's like 16 buttons up here. Uh, oh, no. These are actually here before. They just need to be moved back to where they were. Yeah, there we go. No, don't teleport out of the dungeon. There we go. Yeah, so actually most of this stuff is okay. I don't know what's going on with my chat log and my combat log being in the same area. Uh, that I'll have to look into how to fix because that shouldn't be here. Uh, isn't it? What is it? Slash reset. I think that's what it is, right? Or is it, is it reload? Yeah, reload is it reloads your UI. Uh, okay, now the combat log moved. <laughs> uh, that's not what I want. Oh, wait, there it goes. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, I didn't know you could do that, guys. <laughs> Playing this game for how long? Okay, anyway, so that actually helped. Uh, I have all my main abilities still on my bar. Okay, shut up and keep. Let's move on with today's scheduled broadcasting. Oopsie daisy. Shadow Fan Keep is a really fun instance. Uh, definitely one of my favorite ones, especially one of the ones they remastered for uh, Cataclysm. Uh, I thought it was a really good time. Oh, yeah. For sure. So this instance in this time period of um, before Cataclysm, it all has to do with us facing off against the spooky secret... Um, what the hell is his name? I can I really forgot his name. What is his name? Oh, I can't see it anymore. Uh, it's once his face. Uh, Vargul or something like that. And his backstory is he's the reason why the Worgen are here. Because what ended up happening is he used his dark powers to summon the Worgen to help protect Gilneas. But the problem is is that he went crazy because his fellow Gilneans were being killed by the Worgen, as well as the Scourge, because they were made to protect the Gilneas from the Scourge. Uh, in Cataclysm, after he's defeated, of course, here by us, uh, what happens is, is that Godfrey, when he's an undead with his minions, uses this place as a base of operations after they kill Sylvanas. A little bit of spoilers. Um, and then Horde slash Alliance players, mostly Horde, are sent in to, you know, take care of the business that's going on here. Ugh. Here we go. So like I said, right now we're just kind of putting down, uh, you know, like rabid more rabid. Well, basically... It's rabid uh, worgen and stuff. Since I have the uh, new character models, you don't see what the original worgen looked like. Or even these uh, silly uh, wolves. Oh my god. The worst part about the early level dungeons is that mana lasts all of four seconds. So, like, nobody has any mana. I, I just realized also, I'm the only one in the group who doesn't use mana. Everybody else has to use it. I don't know if that was a good or a bad thing to do. We probably could have had a warrior or something. Yes, the other DPS... As far as I'm concerned, I'm the only one who actually, um, what's the word? I'm the only one who actually jumps in for fighting because I made it that our shaman goes back to ranged. Oh boy. Oh, I fucking missed him. First boss, Rylakor. He's a spooky, scary guy. I don't know. I have to, I keep telling them to, forget to tell them to keep their distance. I also forgot at this level. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> uh, we're going to release the human spell giver. Or spell giver, quest giver. Oh yeah, get doinked. Get mega doinked. Oh Jesus. I got you, brother. Uh, oh, the mage is going off up there. Okay, oh, dodge some hits. There we go. I saw our priest trying to watch call it. So I need to do formation. You guys are way too close. 60 attack distance. We'll do long range attacks. And what else formation we do? Attack angle, we don't really have to... Attack angle, you don't have to really worry about until you get to max level dungeons and stuff, where there's actually enemies that do things. Okay, here's our quest giver. He is Deathstalker Adamant. 
or I'm probably saying his name. So basically, he's saying hi to the Santos to gather information. The plan. Oh, our goal is his name. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So the idea is, is that the Deathstalkers was like the rogue guild of um, whatchamacallit. They're like the rogue guild of the undead. And in fact, the leader of them, oh, what was his name? Bel- uh, not, is it Belmont? I can't remember if that was his name. He was a commander of the uh, Forsaken Forces and the leader of the Deathstalkers. He's a major character in WoW now. He's a part of the uh, Desolate Council, who are the undead who lead uh, the Forsaken right now. The, my least favorite part about this is that he walks all the way to the door. So we have to sit here and wait for him to open the fucking door. Okay. You are indeed courageous for one to brave the horrors and lie below on this door. Thank you. Okay, see you later, bucko. Eh, it's not so bad. It's a few ghosts and a few wolves. What are you going to do? It's not that bad. Jeez. Oh. Oh, uh, that's not good. Well, at least my uh, paladin is fucking A-plus in it here. Oh, yeah, and since we're fighting undead in here with the wolves, he can actually use his AoEs. We may have pulled too much. We definitely pulled too much. As my priest accidentally pulls more. Oh, there you go. Good AoE. Wow, okay. Uh, it's not looking good for us here, but I have faith. Oh, maybe we do have... We're actually in a good spot here. Oink. I, uh, come on, click somebody else. Just say I stunned that guy. Oh, and he died. Works for me. Oh, God, Beowulf. Beowulf has plenty of mana, so he should be able to protect himself. Oh, this is fucking child's play here. If our, pre oh, our priest ran out of mana, which is the problem, but Angus has plenty, so he should be able to heal. Okay. Oh, God, man. Like, no energy to do any of my moves. Okay, there we go. It's stunned. Okay, I can't even disarm these guys. Uh, we might bear... Oh, man. Wow. Uh, oh, fucking antimatic shield. That's not good. There you go. Expose your armor. You're going to take more damage from us. Wobby, do something. Where is Wobby? Oh, there he is. We actually could still win this. That's the thing. Their antimatic shields are not good, though, because they will, uh, you know take this damage oh boy oh boy oh there was a ghost in there apparently oh god oh god oh god as long as the priest stays alive we have a chance because then he can res everybody oh god, i can totally win this fight for us no way our shaman just pulled more dude no way all right i have to change the follow distance because it's way too it's way too far these guys these assholes are pulling more things all right, i need to change that I'm going to order them to stay so they don't pull anymore. Because if they pull anymore, I'm going to have an aneurysm. Angus, just sit there and take the hits. Heal yourself. Yeah, I don't know why Angus isn't healing himself. Because he has the ultimate advantage here. All he has to do is just stay alive for me to kill these guys. Look at me miss every single swing. Did you see that? Okay, we're almost there. Okay, so far so good. Exposes armor. Okay, alright. We... Oh, no we didn't. You be joking. It's one more. It's one more. Okay. So far, so good, actually. I don't know where Angus is getting all of his mana from, but it's unreal how he's not attacking this guy. Okay. We did it. Oh. That's an interesting thing. Okay. Go. Everybody come with me. Okay. All right. Good job. All right. He's going to res. Formation. You guys can keep the high follow distance, but your attack distance has to go back to short. You guys are pulling way too much. Okay, that could have went uh, a lot better. But uh, we didn't lose. That's the uh, the big advantage. Okay, can somebody, uh, somebody res Wubby, please? I don't know why I have this ghastly ghoul with me. There we go. Yeah, I was just saying, can somebody pick Wubby up, please? Okay, everybody's going to res him. <laughs> I'm the only one who can't res, and technically Wubby as well. Okay, wow, my bags are fucking loaded. Uh, oh, hell yeah, I'll summon a pet. Okay, there you go, you can uh, get some... Oh, uh, wait, I don't have a chest... What? How do I not have a chest plate this whole time? I hold down shift and I don't have a chest plate. That is absurd, I didn't have a chest plate this entire time. Oh, that agility and strength is going to help me a lot more. Oh, pfft, the shitty looking cape. Yeah, our tank should technically have that. The impaling harpoon. <laughs> Sounds uh, dangerous. I have a ton of shit in my bags here. I'm just equipping all the grays. Because why not? Oh, fuck yeah. Give me those. Uh, 
I'll have to find some time after this run to give these guys more of this gear because I have so much to go through and so much to sell. All right, boys. All right, minor setbacks aside, we got to move. I got my dress on, ready to go. All right, that could have went worse, to be 100% honest. Uh, because we did survive that fight. That's the important thing to take away from that. Uh, we easily could not have made it out of that battle, but we did because we're the best, uh, we're best around. Okay, more Worgen. All right, we defeated one boss so far. We still have a ways to go, though, to get through this entire place. Hey, level up. And as you see, I've learned some new ability or not new abilities. Oh, I got to distract. The other stuff just leveled up. Okay, got some more ghastly ghouls here. Okay, there you go. Ugh. Expose your armor. That will take more damage from us. Ugh. Okay, and boom, bonger's dead. Okay, more slicing and dicing. It's been 10 minutes so far. Fucking another one? Oh my god, dude. The trash packs are being pulled. Okay, so far, so good, though. Barely any of the enemies here have had weapons, so I can't disarm anybody. Okay, so far we're doing really good, though, because these guys haven't been... Uh, what's the word? Taking... Or they haven't been doing enough damage to us where we needed to waste all of our mana. Wubby's burning through magic because he's just mashing arcane missiles. Okay, good job. Angus is not using any of his, like, any of his abilities. I don't understand it. Rolls. Yeah, you're set to DPS range, but he's not, like, he's never running out of mana, so to me it's almost like he's not, uh, he's not using it. He is an elemental. And he's set to DPS and range, but it's like he's not doing anything. Yeah, it's like he always has his mana, which to me tells me he's not doing any damage. Uh, I mean, I can find out. I have a, uh, where is it here? Uh, let me see. We want to do this. Oh, well, there we go. There's DPS, and there's for, the, well, this one I want to change. So this one I want to do a threat. I guy just keeps changing. Yeah, give me. We want to do damage. All right, so I talked all this shit about uh, Angus, and it turns out he is doing more damage than me. I'm doing the least, which uh, makes perfect sense. Probably supposed to be behind these guys doing damage, but I'm getting whooped by, uh, what you call it? I'm getting whooped by everybody in this group. Angus is actually doing the second most damage next to the tank. I'm trying to hit the fucking ghost guy we started with. I don't want to pull the boss in here by accident. Okay, all right, I am, oh, I'm actually doing... Dude, I fucking hate when you do this shit. Whatever, I don't need to see it. Because it, keeps, it just keeps switching. I don't want it to do that. There's the boss. He's the... Oh, whoops. The boss is the ghostly ghoul guy up top. Yeah, he's the ghost. Okay, come on, Wubby. Do some damage. I swear, man, on the Azrael Core one, the bots have really bad sight lines on this one. Like, a lot of the time, you'll just sit there, and they'll either be doing nothing, like them, or that's it. It might just be the dungeon we're in. I'm going to blame it on that, mostly. And there we go. No, my bad. They just burn through mana like crazy. This is the only annoying thing about the low-level dungeons. We had to basically keep stopping in order to regenerate mana. Because of whatchamacallit. Um... Mana takes forever to generate, so it's like we have to wait until they have mana. Kill the glutton. Is he scarier? Let me see if we can get behind him for some backstabs. Hey, you bastard. Come on, Beowulf. I'm trying to do some damage here. I gotta get behind these guys to do most of my damage. Oh, there you go. Nice job. Okay, okay there we go. It also sucks because at the early levels, nobody has, like, any actual abilities. So everything is really slow uh, in the beginning. Oh, God, you pulled the boss, you idiot. Oh, no, you didn't. There he is. Baron Suvalane. So, in the Cataclysm remake, some of these bosses are actually still here. I think Baron, Sil Baron Silverlane is one of them, and the other ghost guys are still here. Okay, there we go. Just beat the shit out of them. Okay, and boom. Easy. We got the Baron Scepter, which is, like, the ultimate weapon from him. I think he can actually use it. So, let's take a look. We'll do main hand. The butchers. Well, I have a lot. I have a fuck ton of shit in here, dude. Uh, sure. Why not? 
you know what? Why don't we make you a... Uh, let's put you back to a whatchamacallit. So, not formation. Uh, talents. Let's put you back to enhancement. And then let's have you actually do some stuff for us here. Okay. I got all those buffs. He's going to have to get back. And then let's do your uh, rolls. No more ranged. And I want to give you some weapons. I guess not. Well, I'm going to give you an overshirt because you don't have anything to wear. I'm going to give you these gloves, this back, these. Smelting pants. I'm going to give you all that because you have nothing to wear. Oh, now look at you, a proper guy. Let's do main hand. That's what we got. So I'm going to give you this one-handed X. And then your offhand. You're going to carry something for now. But then eventually you're going to be wielding uh, double the equipment. Okay, all right. Now, if I remember correctly, it was to the left. That's where we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. I remember this place sucked in Trinity Core because you pull a lot of shit in this area. So it uh, really stunk. There we go. These guys have mana, I just realized. So they're up to dastardly deeds. Okay, so we make a left here. Yep, this is the right way. Okay, here we go. Boom. Oh, yeah, they are. These guys are casting some sort of magic on us. Uh, yeah, our... I wonder if that's for a winter event. All right, you guys got him, right? I might actually be able to beat Angus in DPS here because he's going melee. Oh, look, a shield, finally. Offhand. There you go. An actual shield for you to use. All right, so this next room has a big ghostly boss in it. We have uh, the captain of the guard. Uh, we just have to fight through, uh, these guys. Did I disarm her? I think so. Eh, wow. Okay, we pulled, like, the entire room. I don't see, uh, I don't see whatchamacallit, the guy running out to fight us. So I'm gonna assume he's in there, probably. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I, aren't I able to use poisons now? Um, oh, I am. I'm an idiot. Eh, there we go. Yeah, I don't need the spell power. Does this do, uh... Oh, I just do more damage instantly. The damage over time poisons aren't available to me yet. No. Instant poison, I think, is the first poison you get as a um, as a rogue. Now, where is the guy? There he is. Ca uh, Commander, what is his name? Like Stormvale or something like that, or Stormpike. Yeah, he's still in the game today in this version of the uh, uh, instance. Right, here we go. Oh, dude, we're actually clearing this room like fucking pros. I just don't know why our uh, our mage is getting so close. He doesn't have to be that close. Uh, rolls. Yeah, just want to make sure you're still ranged. Yeah, Spring Veil, whatever the fuck his name is. Ugh. Okay, hit him with the dagger. I think his sword drops. Actually, the sword he's using is one you get later on in uh in Wrath. Yeah. So uh, it's like a level 80 sword. And the defense on this guy is like, oh, he has a shield on him. That's why he bubbled. I just realized that. He, yeah, he bubbled. I didn't realize he could do that. Well, apparently none of our guys have any abilities or any ways to counter cast. And, oh, congratulations to uh, Beowulf. He's getting another shield. So if you don't mind, I'm going to give you the proper shield, which looks just like the stand-in one. All right, so far, I remember when I originally did this for Trinity Core, this dungeon did take fucking forever. Because I hate to say this to anybody who's watching this, we're only halfway through this place. Yeah, this is a long, long instance. Because you go, oops, you go through this place, clearing your way through trash, and then after you clear through most of the trash here, you then need to keep going to fight like four more bosses. Well, like I said the last time I played this one on Trinity Core, this dungeon is a lot of filler. So what I mean by that is, is that there's a lot that goes on in this dungeon that doesn't need to be here. There's too many bosses here. It's It was quantity over quality in like the old dungeons. Yeah, it's like the amount of bosses here is like ridiculous in comparison to what it should be. Okay, there is, there's not a boss here. Oh yeah, there is. Odin the, the Blind Watcher. Yeah, it's like, why is he here? It's even better because when you fight these guys, it doesn't really seem like they do anything. Like, I honestly couldn't tell you what his abilities are. He's just here. Uh, what level am I? 22, okay. 
Uh, I mean, like, for example, he gave us a belt. Like, that's all he's good for. And then you gotta fight these stupid fucking bats. But, I mean, these enemies are barely doing any damage to us to the point that we're just running through here. Just clearing a path through this place. But you see what I mean? Like, in the modern game, they shorten this place up with the trash. There's not as much. But to be fair, all pre-Cataclysm dungeons are notorious for being absolute trash fests. Along with, um, Burning Crusade dungeons. They are just known for being absolutely littered with trash. So that is just a, uh, that's just a thing of the time. It wouldn't be until, actually it wouldn't be till Wrath that trash actually slowed down. In all the Wrath dungeons, it's not as bad. But yeah, and in Cataclysm, it's even better. Hell, in Mr. Pandaria, you had a uh, Terrace, which was a raid that literally had only a few trash mobs and like all bosses. And people seem to enjoy it because of that. A certain amount of trash is good, but too much of it is bad. So you have to find the, uh, you have to find that proper balance. Okay, there we go. All right, hey, level up. Saw the enemies level up here too. Okay, we have a Rage Tooth. Okay, remember this is at a time period before the Worgen were in the Alliance, so they were basically the enemy of everybody. Okay, so now you go down. Oh God, you go down the stairs here. Very uh, fun and energetic. Okay, I'll go that extra poison damage I'm doing though. Okay, going through the big door. There's a son of Argol in here, which are basically just harder elites. Uh, we fight the Lupin Wolves, which are pretty cool. They're not in the uh, modern one. The modern version of this dungeon had a lot more undead in it. They turned it into like a sub scourge like thing. Because Godfrey is like raising undead and like using necromancy and stuff. Okay, Wobby's got the right idea here to hit all these guys at once. Uh, I just hear this damn dog barking. Okay. Yeah, gorge out his eyes. Uh, there we go. Let's keep it moving. We've been taking... Oh, God. We've been taking long enough through this place. Yeah, this is the weirder thing about this room. There's something broken with here. It was the same thing in Trinity Core. Something was busted with how the aggroing worked. Because as you notice, we just pulled the entire fucking room. Uh, come on, Angus. Well, Angus can heal, so that's what he's going to use all of his mana on. I'm just spamming buttons until I can get some kills here. I can't select any enemies, apparently. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Angus is keeping us alive by healing us. Beowulf apparently used his bubble at one point. Okay, there goes another one. Another one bites the dust. Okay, yeah, we, uh, we literally just cleared through these guys. Uh, nice. I really want to get dual two, uh, one-hander swords, to be honest. Yeah, as a combat rogue, that's what I'm supposed to be using, but they're not dropping. And then, wow, we are, like, burning through these guys. Or at least trying to. All right, he summoned adds. All right, you guys deal with the last one. So as you can tell, that was actually kind of nice that happened, because that was the rest of the room. So now we can literally just run through. Ugh. This place is cool and it's fun, but it's very exhausting to be 100% honest. Excuse me. Oh, one of them is fucking sneaking around here. Uh, what if I'm just an idiot and if you're a rogue using daggers, if you go up from behind targets, they can't block it. Okay, all right, what's-his-face is looting everything we passed because their loot range is very generous. Okay, then you go up the stairs. Oh, Jesus, I forgot these guys are just sitting on the stairs. Uh, oops, I'm in front of them now. Okay, before the last boss fight, we need to sit back and get some more mana. Yeah, the Sons of Argo are like mini-bosses. Somewhat, they're like the harder enemies you can face. Okay, there you go. Okay, alright, there's a big-ass wolf here. Oh. I mean, this fight's pretty cool. Like I said, this is in a time period where you don't really know what the bosses do, because... They just don't really do anything. Yeah, it's like for real. Like, I don't know what this guy does. He doesn't live long enough for us to see what he does. And he's dead. Pfft. Like, literally, that's it. Now, if I remember correctly, another asshole jumps down here. Who dares interfere with the sons of Argo? And he resurrects the wolf. It's cool this is scripted. 
And then uh, Argyle's uh, Voidwalkers come out. And uh, they die uh, like instantly because they're fucking trash mobs. Yeah, literally. I don't know if that was supposed to be harder. But um, no, it's not. Okay, we're almost. We're actually almost done. There's two more bosses. Some random dude and then uh, Argyle himself. Okay. We've been just running through this place without getting back any of our mana. After I'm done recording this, at least I get to go do e more EMU coach uh, battlegrounds next. And then after I do that, I jump to do some other games. As people saw, I have a Trello board now to keep myself on task. And I do have a few YouTube projects to do, the hardest one being to get monetized. I can guarantee to everybody who ever sees this, my content would be consistent if I was actually making, like, if I was making a penny off of every video or close to a penny, um, I guarantee to everybody uh, I would never miss an upload or actually do it 110% more consistently because I'm just being honest. There's just a thrill of getting something out of your videos more than just nice. Well, I don't even get nice comments that much. So I'm just going straight for the boss because the ads here are just fucking garbage. Okay. Walk away to get orange juice. Okay, well, sorry for that jump cut. I just really wanted some orange juice. I like to meet the ancient caveman who took an orange and squeezed it and then drank the juices from it to tell it was safe. Because, my God, this stuff is so good. Sons of Argyll. Okay. Yeah, we're just, we're literally just cleaving our way through these guys like they're fucking cardboard. I don't know what it is. I feel like that these are too easy than what this would really be like with real people. Unless somebody will tell me that, nope, this is exactly how it was back in the day. <clears throat> Maybe it was. I don't know. Alright, this is it. Just like the my District Trinity Corps. About half an hour. You too shall serve. This guy isn't really... Oh, where'd he go? Oh yeah, I forgot. He spawns up there. Uh, I think he's supposed to summon guys for us to fight, but... Yeah, the AI can break the game and do that. I'm assuming he's supposed to summon uh, guys for us to fight, but unless you're supposed to parkour your way over there. Well, uh, they're going to kill him, so there you go. <laughs> Here's your final boss fight. And we got his belt. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, Shadow Fan Keep. So, it mostly works. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We won.